Howdy, this is Ethelred, the worst Civ player on YouTube. Let's play some Civ. The year is currently 1804. We just got done talking about, oh yeah, Napoleon. The French Revolution has happened. Napoleon tried to invade Great Britain, and a storm came up out of the blue and destroyed his fleet. Actually, at this point, as of 1800, it's no longer Great Britain. It is the United Kingdom, because they got Ireland to join. So... That's where we are in history, and we're going to pick a route for this cargo ship, which is going to be Copenhagen. Let's sort by the highest gold. Yeah, it previously was going to Copenhagen, and it will again soon. Now, we are starting to get ideological pressure because Ethiopia has taken freedom. So far, everyone, I think, has gone freedom, which means that we are now receiving... Let's come up here to... This tourism, look at culture victory. We are in civil resistance. So, I'm not entirely surprised by this. I need to, while I'm focusing on everything else, also focus on culture and tourism in order to be able to resist. But I also need to simply overpower it with smiles. And every population which joins my empire at this point is going to... Um, reduce the number of smiles so I'm tempted to shut off growth again but I won't even though I should instead I'm going to think about um, well happiness buildings so let's see here what, um, we could be building factories right now, because we've got the workers' faculties. The stock exchange is nice. I think I'm going to just go ahead and slam out the factories real fast. I'm going to bump everything down and slam out the factories, because that will help me with my tech as well as everything else. So let's do that, and when we've got the, the factories out, then what can we do for happiness? I'll let this stock exchange finish, followed by a factory. And Canterbury will finish its public school, obviously. Then it'll do the workshop, and then I'll come back here to deal with the factory. So after that, what can we do for happiness? We can do a zoo here. That'll be nine turns. And we'll follow that up with an opera house. And in York, we will go right into an opera house. Actually, probably a zoo and then an opera house. Yep. And in Nottingham, we will... Just go right into an opera house. Funny, I thought that... I thought that some city was missing some really basic thing here. So, zoo, and... Yep. We'll prioritize that amphitheater over that bank. Oh yeah, it was Canterbury. So, yeah. Alright. So that's our city assignments, and in my next culture I'm going to open up patronage before coming back to rationalism. So what else can I do to pad out my happiness? Obviously I can do things like buying luxuries from others and befriending mercantile city-states. Oh, um, let's go deal with that iron that we're short on. So we'll get that iron so that our ships at a line are no longer fighting at a disadvantage. Somebody's got to have some iron somewhere in this world. Arabia? Jeez. By you, you don't have anything. I tell him, my buddy. Dude, nobody's got iron. All right. So we'll stay at a disadvantage there. Oh, I also want to check where's my home city for these guys because I think Nottingham has 
If I'm right, they've got a no. Who's got a seaport? Oh yes, that was that was uh, London's got a seaport, right? Did I ever finish the seaport? Let's see here. Or not? Maybe I never did. I thought one of my cities had a seaport. These things. No seaport here either. All right. Well, I thought I had one. Anyway, next. So 1804. Nothing happens until 1805. We'll deal with some barbs. And do we have barbs in our territory? Very pleased. Yes, I'm sure you were. My next proposal to the World Congress won't be as pleasing to everyone. So, the Brexit happened today. I don't have any real opinion on that because I'm an American. Uh, but if you've got a strong opinion about it, it's immediately relevant to this game. This game is England, and we just got done building the United Kingdom in this game. So maybe I shouldn't mention it, open up a can of worms. Um, we're going to save this scientist right where he is until we're done with military science. And I'm not at all content with the rate at which we are growing our economy. Six, 64 per turn is just not fast enough. Alright. Stay right where you are, Gatlin Gun. And I guess we will do some shore bombardment to get rid of this pikeman. There. That will have taken care of the majority of that. Ah, we need to upgrade him to a Gatlin gun. Is there anybody else who needs upgrades? Or have we got everybody? I think... Oh, this guy right here. He'll need to get upgraded. All right. So it's quite a while before the next World Congress. So we don't have to spend money immediately on city-states. So we will go ahead and do that now. I plan on getting my ships upgraded to something like uh, destroyers before hitting Korea. I know that uh, I should be taking advantage of ships at a line, but the fact is right now I think he's got turtle ships, so it's not like I exactly have a huge advantage over him. Alright, we will target land units and move this guy in. There's 37 gold. And now this pikeman will come back here and sit on a hill for the rest of his life. So our spreading of our faith has gone well. We will soon have Vatican City. I say soon. is in like a thousand years because that's the way spread seems to happen. Do, 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 do. Just park yourself right there, buddy. And... It's just going to be a long time until anything happens, I feel like. A lot of people entering the... I wonder what the demographics are right now. I wonder if I'm still in second or third... Dang, literacy is hard in this game. Mongolia has adopted the autocracy ideology. Nobody's going Korean. Oh, I see how it is. All right, so... I probably should have been spending money on city-states all along. That would make this vote a lot easier. I'm not guaranteed to win that vote. Hmm. Yeah, well, hopefully I won't lose it. And I hear I just said it's going to be a long time until the next World Congress, so I don't need to spend money on city-states. Anybody going Siam's gone freedom? Nobody's going order. I'm going to be the only one. You know, if I, and I probably will, succeed at forcing uh, world ideology down everyone's throats, then that will put them all at a huge disadvantage. And I remain the host. Fantastic. All right, so this caravan 
Nobody wants a trade route. All right, so this will simply go to the only place it can, which is Rebay. I suppose it makes sense that the city-states aren't offering trade routes as uh, quests right now because I wouldn't be able to send them one anyway because of that silly policy. And Siam has reminded me that I need to get everyone in the world to go kill Korea. Which is actually quite a difficult thing to do, seemingly. It seems like the world is so peaceful in this game that it's very difficult to get anyone to go to war with one another. And I seemingly do not have the spare money to do it. Alright, but let's... Let's see if I can get him to declare war on Siam. Wouldn't that be a dandy? Nope. Well, I guess I can't be shocked. Yeah, I'm going to go ask everyone again. Korea? No. Siam? Declare war? Against the guy who's going to beat us? He will win. You're worthless. Actually, he may have a navy. I'm going to declare... You want to be friends? Declare war against Korea? <sighs> this game. You though. Surely. Surely you. Ah. I'm shocked and horrified. Nobody. It's certainly not for lack of trying on my part. He'll die. A liar could say this. And I've asked everybody all of the questions, and they've all said no to everything. All right, well, be it as it may. 1810's come and gone. In 1810, I'll note that George III, the King of England who saw the breakaway of the colonies, he is now blind of cataracts. And his condition goes downhill for just a long time. He, he lives a long time, and it's a long, slow decay. All right, so this ship at a line, I think actually I'm probably just going to park him here because ideally he would be getting promoted someday in the next, I don't know, 100 years or so. Let's go check out over here. Hey, I bet the Great Barrier Reef is over here somewhere around Australia. I'll go find that. Hmm. We'll park this guy here, heal him up, and then send him up here where barbarians like to build camps. I'll continue to send everybody gold who's not my friend, just as a way of uh, bribing them. And I don't know why I've got such a bad rep with people that I get all this hate mail from them. I like to do this gold thing. I find it really does help influence my relationships with people. And Bratislava is now my ally. Or they were, and they're more my ally now. Oh look, he can get, my pikemen can get promoted if I have horse horses. So I will stop offering horses to the world and I will start upgrading my units with them. Alright, where is this? What is this? Oh, this is Africa. This is where I was just saying I'm gonna scout around and see if I can find the Great Barrier Reef. And this is a mess. This right here is a mess. Which is unfortunate because that's probably the path I'm going to have to send my navy through in order to be able to attack Korea. Where's Panama? It's gonna say, if Panama City wasn't there, I'd build a harbor city or a canal city right there. Just for it. So, that would be great. Because everything else is just a real pain. I should go conquer Panama City on my way through and use it as a canal city. Hmm. No, I would get lots of warmonger hate. The AIs hate it when you beat up on other city-states. Alright, so we'll bring this guy home. Just come home. Just come over here and park it. Our Navy has done a decent enough job exploring. 
you know, Korea, I'm not going to go to war with him, but you should. You should do that. 1818, in 1815, George III has become demented. So he's now demented with age. It's just dementia. It's just of old age. Oh, I said I would pop my scientist. So I will go ahead and do that now. I think I would have gotten about... Shoot. Ten turns worth of uh, science out of it anyway. So we'll pop them now. Yep. And we got dynamite. So we could build artillery. I guess that means that we can upgrade this cannon to artillery. Great. And next is the railroad for the Kremlin. Which I don't think gives us any happiness. That stinks. This, though, gives two happiness. And plus one happiness for every castle, of which I have zero. So I probably won't be building that. But I will get another trade route with that, that technology, which is nice. Alright. Oh, yes. Exploring around Australia, looking for the Great Barrier Reef. It's probably on the north side. I'm certainly not going to give away that kind of cash. You know, I don't know if any Civ ever spawns on Australia. And that's just too bad. Why is Australia not in this game? I think there's a mod for it. Privateer was bombarded. Yes, no doubt it was. And we're going to make sure that it lives to f Oh my gosh. I think that privateer is going to die. I thought I would wipe out that ship in one hit, and that did not happen. Mmm, that's no good. Alright, so, rebay, rebay it is. What do we got? 22 turns until culture. And I'm at 452 science right now, as these factories come online. I've got a factory here now, don't I? Yeah, I've got a factory in London, which I could actually assign somebody to work. That's an idea. Rather than stopping growth, I should just assign specialists. And that will slow down my overall growth everywhere. And a factory is a good place to do that. So let's assign specialists. Like, for instance, another writer. Okay, so you're stagnating, but we'll get writers. And Nottingham, I'll wait until you have a factory. Same thing with the rest of you guys. I probably will wait and. No. I could. Yes, I could put you on a university. And. No, not also on a workshop. Okay, great. And Canterbury? Oh yeah, I could... I got room to put somebody on. But if, if any city does still need to grow, it's Canterbury. London, York. I think that this is... I think that's, that's a good way for me to slow down the growth a little bit. Just to dial it back a notch. So I refuse that deal because I want the horses. Genghis Khan has become a nuisance. I can't do anything about that, dude. You should. You should go fight him all you want. And now, I should get two horses back, which will be enough to promote my pikemen. I'm just reading what's going on here. Bunch of denouncements. Oh, yay, we can steal. This has been a good turn. And my privateer did not die. I will just try to use these promotions just to get away. Alright, what's the most expensive thing I could get here? Replaceable parts. And that's that's like a duh. I should get replaceable parts. Yeah. Great. Nothing. That's a really valuable one. Sejong is building up for a sneak attack against Genghis Khan. We're gonna share that entry. Can we share it? Why can't I why can't I share it? Against who? Genghis Khan. Oh, that's delightful. Where are you, Genghis? Can I share the intrigue with you? Share intrigue. Oh, yeah. You go do something about that. 
Ottingham's grown. See, we're down to 11 happiness. My research agreement completed. That brings us within six turns of finishing combustion. Horses are done. We've got horses again. This has been a great turn. Okay. All right. First things first. Let's promote. Second thing, second. What is second? Oh yeah. That's right. The war with Korea. That That's going to happen. Um, I don't... Is there anything else I should be doing right now? Oh yeah, happiness. I'm going to... Run out the happiness clock a little bit. Let's see, does anybody have iron? Again, I'm back at it for iron. Iron. I just have to keep polling, you know? Because they may not have iron one turn, but they'll have it the next. So, ah, good. See, that's exactly what I mean. What do you want for that? A horse? A horse is no good. How about you take a... A coal? Yeah, thanks. I didn't need that coal. Actually, I did. I needed it for Canterbury. But uh, Canterbury, it could do lots of things besides working on... It, yeah, it could do lots of things besides working on a factory right now. It could do things like a temple to get me happiness, and a zoo to get me happiness, and an amphitheater to get culture. Yeah, you could do all those things. You could even do an aqueduct if it really wanted to. There. Something just like that. Alright. So, I don't even know if I should be building any more farms. Maybe I should build another... another trade station. I think I'll do that instead. So somewhere around here is Great Barrier Reef, and when I find it, that will be one happiness. Global happiness given to my empire. And uh, Genghis Khan... Uh, no. See, why do I get this kind of hate mail? I haven't done anything to him. 1824, things have happened. 1820, George III who has gone into debilitating old age, especially given the time, stopped speaking English. He started gibbering, and that lasted for 59 hours, and then he died at the age of 81. So that was a good life. He did good, and he died at 81. In 1825, oh, by the way, he was succeeded by his son, guess the name, George IV. And George IV... What, what about George IV? Anything? In 1825, George IV... Oh yeah, this guy. Yeah, he was addicted to laudanum and alcohol and whoring with, with mistresses. And basically, he lived in seclusion with the exception of his harem and coming out of his den of sin to occasionally campaign against Catholic emancipation because, you know, no matter what, we got to keep those Catholics in check. The overriding priority is them Catholics have to be kept in check. I would never have guessed, like I said in the last episode, that this was... Oh, you're not working in Academy? You are failing. What is wrong with you people? Get off of something and go work the Academy. Like... Now you're stagnating. Stagnating at 17 is not so great. Okay, right there. There's two academies that you're not working. What the heck is wrong with you? There. Silly London. That was stupid. Why do I even build these things? Denmark has denounced the Ottomans. Okay, great. I welcome denouncing the Ottomans because anything that can keep Denmark happy or busy is good for me. 
Speaking of which, demographics, are they still leading in the soldiers? They are. And I'm at second in literacy. Okay, so that brings us to four turns before railroad and we'll be able to start in on a Kremlin in four turns. London will be done in four turns. A zoo will be available. The Kremlin is... Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, the free social policy is, is actually the majority of why I'm building it. Yeah, that would be pretty important. Oh, my gosh, we're at four happiness. We will soon be extremely unhappy. All right, so we are... A about to head into crisis territory and that I've seen it coming all along and haven't done sufficient work to prevent it is really what's damning me right now 1828 anything 1830 Catholic emancipation passes what was that that was a parliamentarian bill which allowed Catholics to once again serve in elected government the reform act also passes in this year correcting various long-held injustices in the organization in, of the government of Ireland and Wales. So, the parliament really became reformist and started working, you know, modern, um, more liberal policies for the greater good of its citizens, which is very laudable. What else happened? George IV died of obesity and abuse of drugs and alcohol. So he didn't last long, and he was succeeded by George the... That was George the Fifth. No. Yes. He was succeeded by William the Fourth. That was George the Fourth succeeded by William the Fourth. Got it. Okay. For happiness. Aha! There's the Great Barrier Reef. And there's probably another one around here. So we will go check, scope that out. For a second great happy or global happiness, I believe. And soon we will be buying luxuries. Or buying city states. There we go. So and that what? That that was a natural wonder discovered for people, so I got city states on my side for it. So that was really helpful. Great. I'm glad that that happened. So we're back up to 10. And we're done with... I should set you to production focus now. Yep. Right. Very good. What am I going to do with this guy? I think I'm running out of uses for my workers. In fact, they will probably soon be headed to the scrap heap. I won't need to upgrade to railroads because everybody's connected by harbors anyway. Which I've enjoyed throughout this game, the fact that I don't have to pay for road upkeep. No open borders for anyone. 1832! George IV basically stayed out of politics like his father. Although he was quite charming, I hear, and he used that to, in his opportunities meeting with the American presidents and, and American foreign dignitaries, just chat them up and befriend them, and he established a good working relationship with the Americans, which really helped mend the rift after the uh, Revolutionary War. So at this point, you start to see the building of a constructive relationship between America and the UK. And that was partly just because of George IV. Also, the House of Commons starts to become much more powerful at the cost of the House of Lords. The House of Lords, of course, was not elected. They were literally the nobility. And the House of Commons being the common man, which was elected. So, at this point, the House of Lords begins to diminish and wane. So you see the power of the nobility waning and the power of the people increasing and this is part of a long continual process which has been happening in the in England Britain the UK whatever name it goes by 
uh, for the last several hundred years, which is power being slow, slowly ebbing away from the monarch to the parliament, which was, well, to the nobles, and then to the group of nobles which advised the king, which became parliament, which became the House of the Lords, and then the House of Commons was introduced, and power slowly ebbed away from the House of Lords to the House of the Commons. So you see this transition of power from a central monarch to the people and the democratization of England. So very praiseworthy, done in a very smooth uh, manner. I actually was listening to a book on tape about the process of democratization and that in countries that have already strongly a strongly established government that process of democratization happens slowly and yields a product which is a a much better governing country that is much less corrupt and is actually in it for the good of the people whereas in countries that say were autocratic and you have an army storm in and just put democracy into place because it didn't have strong it didn't have the transitional bureaucracy to be able to um you the the bureaucracy is not there to support the democracy and so what you end up with is largely a um a corrupt patriarchy patriarchy system where you get you know some good old boys in there they use their money to buy the right advertisements or whatever to become to get their elected office and they're basically just using their money to buy into office and then they use the position of the office to enrich themselves and their friends and i mean we see plenty of democ democracies like that right england is an example of one that made a slow worthwhile transition so i'm not seeing as much science come out of these factories as I had expected. I think it's because I need to assign somebody to work them. So I will take people off the workshop and put them on the factory. Yes. So if I... I'm just curious. I'm making 95 science here now. And that is not as effective as this. Which... There. Yeah, I don't... I'm not going to spend the time, especially with you guys watching, for me to go through every single tile and figure out what went wrong there. But uh, I do have to assign people to work the factories. So I will come here and assign somebody to work this factory. I will. And I will actually take somebody off hammers to go work something which will get me some more food. Which means that I have to unlock this and put them on there. Can I get another? No, I can't. Alright, so there is 521. Canterbury doesn't it's not gonna have a factory anytime soon. Your factory is getting worked. Didn't this is this is where I said I can't switch somebody off the workshop and put them on the factory, right? Oh, I can. Great. I'm up to 5:44. York. Wow. I tell you, this is a great. This has turned into a good city. So again, here, can I take somebody off hammers and put them on food? Oh. Yeah, right there. Okay. So that's three hammers. Now if I were to take somebody off, say, here, and put them on here. Okay. We're up to 551. In fact, that level of micromanagement might play out well someplace else. Like if I were to take somebody off of... Hmm trying to figure out what would be the, the 
best tile to take somebody off of here. Maybe this one. And we're stagnating. 11. I don't quite want them to stagnate. And then put you on factory. Yes. That, I think, works out fine. Stock exchange. Nottingham Hastings. If I were to take somebody off, say, this, and put them on factory. I can't really feel like I'm losing a ton of production here because I'm putting them on a factory. And I just gained a whole bunch of additional science per turn. So speaking of science, we're going to go get... Hmm, I should go into plastics, right? I should. But I think I'm going to... Where is my... So what, what does the privateer upgrade it? into into an iron sh no that was caravels what are the privateers upgrade into it's, wh where do we get the privateers oh i'm rambling and i'm looking at the tech tree anyway i should just say goodbye so thank you very much for listening click like click dislike click subscribe i love you for it have a nice night